Hi, welcome to CFS. I'm Paul Bertel and today we're going to be making a simple glass fibre laminate. Right, for starters we're going to use as a release agent the Mold Magic hard wax. So we get a nice amount on the cloth and with a circular motion just nicely cover the whole area to make sure that you don't miss anywhere. Right, and then we get the polishing cloth and again similar nice circular motion get it all nice and polished up well buffed because we don't leave any wax on the surface that will affect the gel coat right okay there we go right now so we're going to use the gel coat which is this material and we're going to mix 100 grams into the pot on the scales get a stick so here we go try and be as accurate as possible okay and then we're going to mix the pigment so first of all we measure the pigment there'll be 10% so 10 grams of pigment we'll, we'll give it a a nice mix first because this can settle sometimes so we'll give that a good mix mix 10% into the gel coat there we go Right, now, we have to make sure this is mixed thoroughly into the gel coat. So, giving a good stir all around the edges, get the pigment off the stick, make sure it's all well mixed into the gel. You can't really over mix this. right so that is now ready for the catalyst we don't need to measure this on the scales as such but we use the bottle here the catalyst is already in the bottle and we're going to mix two mils so two percent to the to the mixture there so that's two mils of catalyst right we had to stop because the catalyst bottle wasn't quite tight enough so we've got air coming into it so again we mix two mil straight into the gel coat and again we've got to mix thoroughly to make sure all of that catalyst is mixed into the gel coat so it's right into the corners right in the edges now I'm wearing glasses if you're not wearing glasses then you need to wear um, obviously some eye protection whenever you're using these materials again off the stick make sure it's all mixed into the corners around the edge of the pot right I think that's about okay right we take a two inch brush and we, we want a nice even surface so get plenty of gel coat onto the brush and nice even strokes nice and flat because we've got to laminate this when we come back and it'll 
little tiny bits that you may see. And that's the gel coat on the mould. So when we come back we'll start laminating with the mat and the resin. 40 minutes has gone by and the gel coat has now cured off ready for laminating. We can, we can test this by just gently striping over the, over the surface rather than dabbing. If you dab it you might pull the gel coat off the, off the mould. So, and that, that's fine, that's ready to go. So right, next stage, uh, lay up resin. We're going to measure um, 100 grams. which is that. Then we're going to add the pigment because we're going to colour, make a, a colour laminate for this. So again, same pigment. We've already pre-mixed it. So we're going to add 10 grams, 10% 10 to the resin. That's ten percent. Right now we're going to thoroughly mix this into the resin, getting around the sides, making sure we're all well mixed there. Right, we're now ready to catalyze. So, catalyst bottle. 2 mil, so 2% catalyst to resin. Again, mix thoroughly all around the edges. Right, we're now ready to wet out the gel coat surface. Um, I won't use that brush because it's, got, it's still in our stone so we'll use a fresh brush. Right, so we're going to put some resin on the, on the gel coat to, um, to give us a good base for the mat to go onto. So, it doesn't have to be too much. But the mat will then start to take the resin up. Okay, right, chop strand mat, lay it down. Now, we, 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 it's a good idea to dab the resin on rather than spread it around because you can drag the mat. So, a good dab of resin over the whole area. You, not too much resin, you can put too much on and too little on. But that's about right. Now we have to consolidate that, that laminate. So by doing that we use a paddle roller and we gently, the resin is beginning to soak into the mat now. So we're gently rolling this to remove all the air bubbles but also to consolidate the laminate because if you put an extra piece of mat on here you need to be able to roll that down as well. So as you can see the resin is being forced right the way through and back to the surface. Okay, into the acetone, wash it out. Now just to, I mean you, you could leave that like that but if you just want to check make sure there's, there aren't any little pinholes anywhere, just a nice gentle dab with the brush. Any excess resin you could take away a little bit, put back into the pot, but that seems about okay.
I forgot to mention the fact that we left this overnight to, to get a full cure, but as you can see, um, it's nice and flexible, nice and solid, and it's, it's only a thin, a thin laminate. So that's the, that's the final product.